is Old Farm Weekend. It is quarter past two on the 31st of August, which means time is running out. There's not enough time to look at League 2 tables and League 1 tables, but there is enough time to look at Championship and Premiership, so it's fixtures for the Diddy Leagues. Sounds like a preferential treatment now. It does. People may ask, why are you not looking at the League 2 tables and forgetting about the Premiership and the Championship, which are uh, pretty foregone conclusions, especially the top one. Anyway, we're going to look at Bonnie the Groves against Stranraer at New Dundas Park. It was a fun night yesterday, wasn't it? Transfer deadline day. What the fuck? I went to bed. Ah, well, I mean, you did go to bed, but I mean, I didn't. I stayed up and uh, there were square goes being offered and Big Stevie came out on top. Where were you to back me up? I'm going to sit up, man, and hope for a transfer that's not coming. There was a a square go offered. Remember, Remember when Shane... And The Walking Dead was building the, the watchtower thing. And Laurie says here, don't you think you should wait for help? And he's like, no point waiting on something that ain't coming. That, that's, <laughs> that, same, that's, that's how I felt last night. There's no signings coming. Nobody's coming to save hearts. It's done. It's over. Just need to wait to Sunday. Pray for a miracle. Get a win. If not, Stevie, pack your bags. Not you, Naismith. Just, uh, aye, that's, that's pretty much it. Absolutely. Um, now the square goal was the the the, the neutral ground was Calderfield. Now someone used to go to Calderfield. Oh, my old stomping grounds, Calderfield High School. What a place, man! What a fucking dump. What a dump. You right? You got to tag in then. What's up? You know, you, know, you know the area. Ah, well, I could. Oh, no, I mean, I mean for the square goal, not for oh, the. All right. I I I know where the uh, nuts and crannies. I know. I know where we could go. Like. Anyway, right, uh, enough banter. Bonnie Rigg Rose won Sten... Oh, Stenhouse Moor, no, Stenraar. Stenraar, that wee TV show reference. 1-0 Bonnie Rigg Rose. You're going 1-0 Bonnie Rigg Rose. I'm going to go... Ash, I just don't care, man. Oh, I just need hearts to win the, this weekend. That's all I need. I couldn't give a shit if Bonnie Rigg Rose and Stenraar <laughs> both got liquidated. I mean, I'm honest to God, man. I, I, need, I need results. I need something. Would you not rather them get beat if it meant Naismith went? I know, but fucking Robbie Nielsen back in. Never want it ready. <laughs> nah, I think that would piss off a lot more Hearts fans than actually keeping Naismith. Smith. Yeah, where, where are you going, though? The quicker got... we get through these Diddy Leagues, the quicker Sun we get... Sun 2-1. He's 5-1-0. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with Clyde one each. Ember yeah. City getting beat 4-0. Uh, 2-1 Peterhead. 4 for Athletic 1, Elgin City 0. This is pretty quick, yeah. 4-4-2-0. Four, four, uh, Stone Albion two each for the Spartans. I'm gonna go Spartans to win by three uh, one. Our bro for gonna beat our Athletic one nil. Are they? Big Flynn signed for St Mirren. Yeah, St Mirren signed Kevin Van Veen yesterday. That's old news. Sorry, I even spoke about it today. Yeah, I just want to talk about it. Good sign. Well, I've already spoke about it. I spoke about it last night. On a limited video that's making he all by the way in terms of money. I spoke about it last night. So it's good for well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, it wasn't finalised till the early hours this morning, so I, I doubt you actually spoke about the official deal being completed. Well, I knew it would get done. Yeah, well, there was a Rangers transfer last night that I did spoke about being done, bearing any catastrophic errors at the last minute and what happened. Cas- catastrophic error. Yep, exactly. Control delete. Uh, Cove Rangers. Did you make that in real time, or did you create a bunch of Rangers videos and just publish them when they were done? Uh, only one. Shout out to CJ Nova, by the way. There's only one guy that does it. I won't mention his name. Uh, <laughs> Cove Rangers. Are going to win 2 0. I might do a wee bit of e bag in here. Ryan on when eight was trying it. <laughs> send us money. <laughs> send me some money. Uh, s- send League One some money. Fucking needs it. I'm going to go Cove Rangers to beat Montreal. So, so, hold on. Let's just address Ryan on when eight midway through League One. So, he practically said, I'm going to stop doing YouTube. I don't get more money. Is that is that the gist of it? Um, or there's going to be like a limited schedule if I don't get more money? No, not really. To be fair to Ryan Mulmoney, um, I kind of like the guy. I think he's all right, so I'm not going to bash him here. I'm not going to put words in his mouth. What Ryan Mulmoney essentially says was, look, this is my full-time job, but I'm not making enough money doing it, so therefore I'm going to need you guys to give me more money, but I will offer more content. I'm not going to put anything behind a paywall. So then he spoke about how that what the regular viewers get, they're going to continue to get. But then by the end of the video, he kind of contradicted himself because he says, like, the Selic, the Thunder, the Football Manager series parts, all that stuff that people want are going to be behind the paywall. So <laughs> that's what it is. Which was regular content on his video, on his channel, the Celtic, the Thunder. Don't worry, guys, there'll be nothing going behind a paywall on this channel. No, but if you want to pay to the wall <laughs> on this channel, brother, 
Ah, Greatly appreciate it. I feel like jumping off the wall at this point. Tell you what, see if Rangers win on Sunday, we'll put up a membership of Fog Football, 100 quid a member. No, I like Ryan Mulroney. I just just don't get why he didn't create a membership. I don't know why he he was like trying to touch around the subject as if he was like done something really wrong. Just say here, guys, we've got a membership. If you you want to subscribe, do it. If you don't, then don't. I've got a membership. And that's the last we're going to say about that. The bar- Although what I do think, I, I I personally do think if you've got a membership, you need to be offering something like so. I, I offer a Rangers badge in my super ch- in, in my live chats and um, premieres. Funnily enough, that's what I offer on Twitch. You think it'd be a Hearts badge, but it's actually a Rangers badge. <laughs> uh, Someone liked the store credit joke the other day. Ranger store credit. Mm. Well, give, give, give Fog some credit then, fuck me, give us some store credit. Nah, there was a lot of credit being dished out last night. Anyway, Dumbarton are going to beat Kelly Hart's one now. I think you got to be linked my PayPal, you know. Um, <laughs> Dumbarton, will they? I don't know. I'll go Kelly Hart. I think we should do accumulators of the week. And be like, this is what you should put your money on, but give it to us and we'll put it on for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody, nobody will be making any money if I'm picking the accumulators. No, all right, uh, what are you going? Kelly Hart's, two on. Right, Inverness will win. One now. I have. They were one. saved from administration. Good for them. I know what it's like to be on the other end of that. <laughs> it's like not, not being saved. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Um, I was more I had an athletic. I'm gonna go one nil Inverness. Right, that's what we both went. Right, then two each. In the final game, I'm going. No, no, I'm not going. No, I'll go uh, one nil Stennis Muir. All right, uh, into the championship. We've got a league table. I'm fucking depressed, man. <laughs> He's depressed, and I'm kind of almost there. I know you'll be t- you'll you'll be depressed after Sunday. Like there's no doubt about it. I got, I this got time it. tomorrow, I'll be done. I'll guarantee it. Well, well we're going to predict, aren't we? Hey, um, Air United. Somebody said in the comments earlier. Air United aren't that good. I mean, must, must be a Kelly fan or something like that because Air United are, are pretty good. I think they're celebration good. time, baby. I think they're clearly the best team in um in the championship, and I, I think Air United will be playing. Uh, Premiership football next year. Well, you know what? I welcome your United to the Premiership. They also signed um, an Aberdeen player on loan it, last night. It so. adds another derby to the league. Yeah, it does. I, I ain't going to complain with derbies. No. Not enough of them. Not enough of them. Falkirk. Um, and the ones that we do have are pretty one sided. So. See, as long as anyone outside of Livingston gets promoted, I'll be a happy guy. I won't care. I think it'll be all right there because I don't, I don't see Livingston coming back up. I mean, it's early days, but. Niall McGinn to Greenock Morton. Uh, a strange one. I thought now McGinn's. Uh, I mean, I thought I thought his best days were behind him. Well, I think they clearly are. But I thought his his days of playing at a decent level were behind him. Yeah, I have a mate who convinced him to go to Green at Morton due to a great YouTuber, Chris's Morton TV. What about those apples, eh? Shout out to Chris's Morton. If he had a membership, I'd definitely subscribe to it. Absolutely. Into the championship fixtures. Is Chris monetized. Don't know, you're going to have to ask him. Uh, Dunfermline... I had him on Xbox, but he never got back to me. He's got Xbox? <laughs> Fair play. Uh, Dunfermline against Air. Um, I'm going to go Air. Air 4-0. Dunfermline, Dunfermline are in a bad way right now. No, they you are. You know, I get it up, fucking Stephen Mill. I can't stand him. He rubs me the wrong way. He is. Although, to be honest, like he's, he's stuck next to you and Cameron every Monday, so I, I would rub anybody the wrong way. Just... I think there's something off about Stephen Mill. I think he does a good job hosting the show. I'm not. I'm not it's just. I don't know. Something about him just bothers me. He's a. He's dry without actually being dry. He's like. I don't know. I don't know what the terminology is. He's just fucking weird. Is it because he's with you and Cameron? You and Cameron's a dick, but I think. I think when you and Cameron's on the show with someone else, it doesn't feel that bad. I think if Stephen Stephen Mill did the show with somebody else, it would, it would feel be awkward or something. Mm, I don't know. Anyways, team's getting scudded. Right, Greenick Morton are going to lose with Falkirk. Falkirk, Falkirk 3 0. Aye, I'm going Falkirk to win 2 0. Airdrie, they need a win. I'm going to go 2 0. Airdrie. I'm going 2 1 Airdrie Onions. Partick Fist have had a shit start to the season. I'm going 1 0. Partick. Uh, I agree with that. I think Partick will get the, a narrow win here. Um, Rafe Rovers against Levy. I think Rafe needs something. I'm going to give Rafe the benefit of the doubt. 1 1. <laughs> I don't think they'll get beat, but uh, I don't know. I think Livy will but get beat. I'll tell you what, him. if Rafe win and Air win, you know, Livingston, a lot of points behind Air United already. Yep. And then that leaves us to the Premiership table, folks, which we're all here for. Uh, we have to scroll down to actually see your club and Hibs and Kelly. Did we actually? Scroll back up there. Yeah. Fuck, that's dreadful, isn't it? 
Oh, to be fair, I mean, you only, wait, if I go the highest up, you only see the top five. So. Aye, well, it wasn't that long ago. We actually had to fucking change three pages to see your club, so... I mean, three tabs to get to the League 2, so I like, calm it down. Aye, well, we had to change. What, what's easier, scrolling, scrolling down a wee bit or, 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 or switching up three tabs? We had to go to the championship for your club as well. I know it wasn't three tabs, it was one tab. Anyway, look at that League t- table. Breathe it in, man. I had to go to the history books to find your club not that long ago, so uh, <laughs> I, I, I'd <laughs> calm it down if I was you. Really, like in Jambo, bear. What have you got a Rangers badge then? That one last memory? No, because I was testing it out and the Rangers badge was the first thing I had saved on my PC. Something tells me if it was a Celtic badge, you'd have chose something else. <laughs> Maybe, but it wasn't. It was a Rangers badge, so... And I just never got round to... Changing it? If anyone, if anyone, yeah, if anyone wants to subscribe... Was that around the time Hearts won a higher division and as soon as Rangers overtook them, I was like, I'll just keep it that day. If anyone wants to subscribe to my Twitch channel, go and do it, like, but... Uh, it's been... I think it's been streamed about two years, so... Yeah, but since 2012. Anyway, uh, let's look at the Premier League fixtures. My stream died. Dundee against St Mirren. Um, Interesting game here, no Luke McCowan. Uh, what's your thoughts on Luke McCowan actually going to Celtic just one last time? I've seen this Dundee page almost like bum-licking Celtic. Like, oh, look at his face when he walked out the tunnel. I'm not begrudging this guy the move. Incredible move for Luke McCowan. We've pocketed a million. And he's is, that, is that the official fee? Million? Yeah, he uh, and he's and he's went to his club that he loves. It's like fucking real end. Do you think Awata leaving was maybe what made up his mind? Do you think if Awata doesn't go, he maybe chooses Hibs? Potentially, but yeah, I think it's a good deal for all parties. I mean, Hibs have done or Dundee have pocketed a million. Um, has weakened them massively. They've lost their captain at the they've end. Have, of the day. They've lost their best player, and uh, it's going to be hard to replace. Anyway, I I do think they will get a result. I'm going to go two two. We go one one. St Johnston against Motherwell. That's an awful game. And I tell you what, I forgot Ross County Aberdeen was in Premier Sports One, so you'll expect a match a few later. Well, yet one. No, that's that's the you might expect. I think there's a wee shitey pay per view called Bash in Berlin on later uh, that a be. certain one one eight's actually at. Imagine wasting money to go watch wrestling. You know what? We get paid to watch wrestling. Big difference to this game. What a fucking loser! I I said earlier in this video, I like Ryan Mummy. I don't like him anymore. This is his team. This guy prioritized. His team is in this in their biggest derby they have, biggest game they have, and he's away watching phony fake ass fucking wrestling. See if it was the attitude there, and you got Stone Cold and the Rock. I'd I'd, I'd accept it. Yeah, I'd, I'd let Scottish football die. I'd accept the to, late nineties as to, well to watch Rock and Austin one last time. But to go and watch today's shite, what a loser! Yeah, he chose them over the Champions League draw. No one they needs money. Fucking traveling to all these bloody shows. Oh, I'm going to WrestleMania. I'm going to, I'm going to clash at the castle. I'm going to all in. I'm going to loser. <laughs> no, man. See, if you're spending thousands on wrestling. See, as soon as he starts making his Celtic feds, he's probably playing in his fucking parents' attic with wee wrestling figures. <laughs> Na- naked Gunther. Oh, I love you, Phil Brooks, man. He's probably got the Phil. Bro- he's probably scratched off the underpants of Phil Brooks. I know people <laughs> used to do that back in the day. They see, see if there's anything underneath it. Phil Brooks, eh? What's that all about? Anyway, St Johnston, nil nil. I'm going boring game. And I remember, I remember uh, getting this like China figure off somebody, and it had like the the garment scratched it. So obviously someone was like desperate to see what was underneath it. China, which is a bit fucking weird, like. But um, whatever. Nothing underneath it. In real ba- life, there probably was. Yeah, I'm not bashing wrestling fans. I mean, yeah, we watch wrestling. Aye, but there's a difference. <laughs> we hate it. Aye, we hate it. I would, you, you know, even if you. See if someone offered me 200 quid to go to Berlin and watch, I wouldn't go. See if they were a time and effort, and you'd probably get killed in Berlin while you're at it. What if you could teleport straight into your seat and teleport straight back, and it was like no travelling time? But you did time. <laughs> you did time, guys. <laughs> 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 what <have> you... <laughs> anyway, so Johnson Marvel. <laughs> St. John. <laughs> I'm going for <laughs> Craig Levine's special today, I think. <laughs> you alright there? 
Now you've teleported it somewhere else. You've just been taking it the game. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with St. John. One one draw. I, I think this will be a draw here. I don't quite think St. John's the win, but I don't think they'll lose either. <laughs> Can you get the fucking joke it? But everyone knew what I meant. <laughs> I, I'm going nil nil, it'll be boring. Aye, uh, aye, and then Aberdeen, I, I'm going to go with the MT. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot, I'm not allowed to say that. People, people don't like my pronunciation of Aberdeen. Aberdeen? You know, emphasis in the, uh, the, uh, the A and off, it's Aberdeen. Okay. Aberdeen, Aberdeen, fuck, who cares, man? The that shape. shite team in red. Aberdeen, right, there you go, you happy? Well, your team, though. Oh, that's, I mean... Every team in this league's probably. I'm going 2-0 Aberdeen. I'll go 3-1 Aberdeen. Oh, um, fair enough. Here, look, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how they play. Because, aye, aye. Uh, we'll, because of, you know, I've well, watched, we've watched a few of the cup games. Yeah, we've seen them against St Johnston as well. Ah, that's true. It wasn't the greatest game of football. It wasn't, but here, I think there's a good chance Aberdeen will be top. Yeah, although I think St Johnston are harder to play against. I, I think he can play better football against the county. Well, Rangers proved that last week, didn't they? Oh, oh. Right, talking of this, this is going to separate the the Huns right, and I, the Thames. I, I, think, I think I've gave Rangers the benefit of the doubt the last few times, and they always make me look like I'm retarded. Yeah. I always pick Rangers, and they always get beat. So I'm going to go with what I actually think is going to happen this time. I am going 3-1 Celtic. I think that will be the scoreline. I'm going 2 each. I would, really? Aye. Um, you know what? It's time Phil Clement put his big boy pants on and stepped up to task. And even then, a draw's not good enough. You know why a draw's not good enough? No, listen. This will be his fifth game against Celtic and no wins. You see, last season, the Rangers were favourites going into a lot of those games. It's unacceptable. You need to beat Celtic sooner rather than later. And I know I've just predicted a draw, but come on. You see if Rangers beat Celtic, this, that, this could change the, perplex, the, you know, the, the perspective of this season. Could change everything. Will it? Probably not. I, I'm a... Am I, am I looking through blue tinted specs? Aye, but you know what? I'm going to back my team for a draw. That's how sad it is. A fucking draw. I can't even go all the way. Two each. Serial Dessers, Brace. And there'll be about ten mistakes in there for Rangers probably, but... Go so, two each. I'm going 3-1. Right. Can you see Rangers winning, though? Ah, it's a, it's a one-half game. It's 90 minutes. Anybody can win. Do, do, do you see how Rangers win? Do they score early, then just see a 1-0 win? Or do they go toe-to-toe -to -toe and outscore um... Celtic? I don't know, I mean, what about, what about the first game of the season last year? No, nobody could see a way Celtic could win, they, they won 1-0, so. True, yeah, but that's it. Yo, how, as, I, as I said, no one's expecting Rangers to do anything in this game. See, last season, a few games like up for Celtic because they had injuries to Carter Fickers, to Tati, and really lacklustre defence in the first game. So, Rangers need to step see, up. See Celtic fans that are coming on here saying there's no chance Rangers have got no, they don't, talking shite. It's, like, it's one game of football. Every team's got a chance. Anything, anything could happen. Speaking of no chance in teleportation, we've got Hearts of Midlovian against Dundee United. Aye, well, I'm going to go Hearts 1 0. I'm going to go 2 1 Dundee United. First. And Stephen Naismith to get his head cut off by Jim Goodwin, like Ned Stark. Apart from the fact there's no fucking honour because he's a fraud. No, there's definitely no honour. Alright, you're going United, I'm going Hearts, fair enough. Uh, I, just, I think Hearts have to win. To be honest, if Dundee United won, I wouldn't be sitting here shocked. You can almost see it happen. I don't know, I'm just falling out of love with football, I think. I'm just a little rapidly falling out of love with football. Team shite, Scotland are shite. I mean, we're probably going to lose our next six uh, I, games. I think Luke McCoy and I get the Scotland team start every game. <laughs> I, I'd, say, I'd, I'd say he's worth a call-up. I mean, I'd say he's worth... Um, he should be getting you, No, you know what, right? This is before he moved to Celtic. I'd rather see Luke McCoy in the team than fucking Kenny McLean. Would you not? Aye, I'd say so, Because, yeah. honestly, uh, Kenny McLean, the only reason Jack and Armstrong weren't picked, by the way, is because they don't have a club. That's it. Final game, Kelly against Hibbs. I tell you what, it's not El Sacchio, but they both need a win. I'm going Kelly. Kelly, I think they'll put Europe to the back burner. They gave it their all on Thursday. I think they did Scotland proud with the 1-1 draw against Copenhagen. Um, I'll go Kelly 2-0. Oh, I mean... I'll go Kelly 2-1, but this could... I mean, I don't think Gray will get fired for this, but, I mean, he'll come under real pressure. Yeah, that draw against Dundee's probably saved him for a wee bit, but he was so close to a win. Anyway, guys, that is it for the preview show. It's been fun, but I can guarantee you one thing. Tomorrow will not be so fun. Till next time. Peace.